Today we're looking at a right knee. We're going to talk about a different biologic called amnion. It's a biologic that we have to figure out a way to deliver it. So we've come up with a way, and we'll talk about it in a minute, using the amnion express delivery device. So here's a typical case of a right knee. You can see the ACL here. Here we're looking up. We've debrided some of the fat pad. This patient has a typical deep side central third patella tendinosis that has been recalcitrant to non-operative treatment and is now in the operating room undergoing a mucinous degenerative tissue debridement. So here we brought in our shaver and I've marked with the Apollo device the typical area, the central deep third of the tendon. We've debrided away the fat pad enough to see that tissue. You can see the longitudinal fibers going from the top of the screen to the right side of the screen. The torpedo shavers in the medial portal. This is a 30 degree view in, in semi-flexed knee. It can either be in full extension at this point or semi-flexed. You can see I can easily clean out the degenerative tissue. But we know it's not just this deep third that's degenerative. That whole tendon around that area is in on the game. It's pathologic. It needs biologic support. So with this Amnion Express device that we're going to show you now, we can deliver a strip of amnion that's been rehydrated with this forked plunger through this cannulated device. It's got a sharp tip, so we're going to deploy this handle. The first notch here engages the amnion. Through the eyelet right here, we load the cartridge, which is the amnion in this analogy, if this were loading a biologic. We're grabbing it with the forked tip and we're sliding the looped end of it until it's forked it down at the end and getting ready to deliver it. So we're going to go through the tissue and then pull the plunger out and pull and leave it behind. We're going to leave the tissue behind like a tissue streamer. So now we're going to switch the portals. We're going to come into our tendon. So we can tell the tendon. I'm going to use a spinal needle as an example. So we know the tendon is between our two portals. Here's the lateral portal and I'm in the medial portal. I, I know that here's my spinal needle. That's the tendon right here. So I can get that muscle memory, if you will, to get the, the angle. So I'm going right across the back side of the tendon, or the deep side more appropriately. So now if I just come out and I translate anteriorly just a little bit, you can see that I'll be in the substance of the tendon. And I can translate across, right across the tendon like that. And you can see that I'm going across the tendon there. It's shaking. You can see it outside. And I, you should be basically horizontal or tangential to your portal, but horizontal to the tendon. And that's what we're going to do with the device, just to show you that. So that's replicated kind of a, a pre-deployment with a spinal needle, just to show you what we're about to do. So I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to bring in the device that's now rehydrated. I'm going to bring the tip in so I can see it right there, same place as I did the spinal needle, because you only want to do this once. So that's my plane right there. I'm on the deep side. So now I just have to come out to the edge. I can see the edge right at the portal. I'm translating forward. This is by feel and by palpation. Now I'm coming across the tendon. You can see it right there. I'm shaking it right there. I'm across the tendon. And notice I'm right where I debrided the tissue. So I'm bringing this biologic streamer right in the air. You can see the needle there. So I'm going to translate up a little higher. Nice. So now it's in the substance of it. And I can feel it come out right here. It's not coming out, but I can feel the tip of it bulging off the medial side of the tendon in line with the scope. So now I'm going to fully deploy it. So I'm creating space. So right now the tip of the device is at the tip of the needle. So I'm going to leave the fork behind as I retract the needle. And that thereby, with the friction in the tissue and the fork holding it in, I should be able to pull the fork out now and leave the streamer of the rehydrated amnion behind. Voila. It's just in time delivery of a structural biologic and all the things we like with liquid based autologous but now this is staying permanent so this wouldn't affect your rehab generally we lock these people in a brace maybe to let them walk full speed because you've taken less than you do if you take the analogy is central third we don't worry about the patella tendon harvest site we take a piece of bone the central third full thickness of the tendon here we've only debrided the mucinous degenerative posterior third of the central third so it's one-ninth of the whole the tendon, not enough to worry about. And the introduction of this transversely across the longitudinal fibers is not big enough. It's a 12-gauge needle, so it's about two millimeters across, and the width of the tendon is six to eight millimeters from the anterior to posterior direction. So we're safe from a structural standpoint, but we have delivered a structural biologic.
so I wouldn't change their rehab at all. I'd let them weight bears tolerated, locked in extension until they have good quad control, and then would let them come out of the brace with therapy, working on motion and quad strength and getting back in the game.